If you want to learn about mumps antibody titer testing, you've come to the right place. We are titer test experts. Let's review a few Accessa Lab sample reports to help you learn how to interpret the mumps titer results. Most schools and workplaces want to see a quantitative or numerical result which can be found under the result header on the sample report. Let's take a look. You can see it here. This sample report has a result of 4.15. And based on Quest Diagnostics Result Index shown here, any result greater than or equal to 1.10 is positive, which means that a person with this result has immunity to the mumps virus. Therefore, this sample report represents a positive result. Now let's take a look at a negative result. Once again, we'll look under the result header. You can see it here, less than or equal to 0 0.90 with a flag of abnormal. And based on Quest Diagnostics result index shown here, any result less than or equal to 0 0.90 is negative, which implies that a person with this result does not have immunity to the mumps virus. Therefore, this sample report represents a negative result. Now let's take a look at an equivocal result. This result shows 1.07 and a low flag and based on Quest Diagnostics Result Index here, of any result between 0.91 and 1.09 is equivocal, which means that the result is neither negative or positive. Based on CDC recommendations, a negative or equivocal result for the mumps titer suggests that vaccination is recommended for immunity. You can learn more at cdc.gov. Please follow up on personal results with your medical provider. If you have additional questions, please call us at 888-946-9522 or email us at help at Thanks for your interest and have a great day.